Have you heard those sounds before? Although they sound different, they're actually from the same failed part. And that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. Let's get started. Those two sounds you heard are actually from failed starters. We're gonna go over why those starters failed and why you shouldn't wait to replace these. And if you need parts or starters for your vehicle, make sure you get those at 1AAuto.com. Now every starter is located in a different location, so let's take a look. On trucks and large SUVs, it's actually really easy to access the starter. They're right near the transmission and there's a lot of room under there. And on smaller vehicles, it may be harder to access the starter. There's not as much room in that area. Some vehicles even have the starter underneath the intake and you're gonna have to replace those gaskets while you're doing the starter job. These are the two failed starters from the sounds you heard. Before we look into these, we're gonna talk about how a starter actually works. There is a solenoid up here where you have the connections that go to it. So you have the power that's going here and that's gonna be hot all the time. So it's always gonna be battery positive. Here is the switch. So when you turn the ignition switch, that is gonna put power here and that's gonna command the starter on and you have a ground here. The ground is not attached to a ground wire itself, it's grounded through the body. But then you have a wire that comes to the solenoid so that you can activate the solenoid. When the starter is activated, this little gear right here is gonna pop out and it's gonna turn a flywheel that'll be spinning. And when the flywheel turns, that turns the engine over. Now I have a jumper wire. It goes through a switch and there is a fuse there just for safety. Put this on here, and then this is gonna to go to the switch here. So as if you were turning the key to turn the starter on, that's what this, the button emulates. And just hold this so it doesn't move. As I push the button, you'll see it move. You see the gear pops out. and then it goes back in once you release the switch. And that's how a starter motor is supposed to work properly. So these both failed in different ways. Let's just test these out and show you how they failed. This time I have another jumper wire going from the ground to where it attaches to the solenoid. And you can see it moves. With that added jumper wire right there, that's actually bypassing this little braided section of wire that grounds the body of the starter to the solenoid. Now that, as you can see, it has failed. It is green. It's about to break completely. When we were trying to get this vehicle to start, it was extremely hard. We had to use two jump packs and even then the vehicle would crank very slowly. And it happens to be that little ground right there. That's what's gonna cause that. Eventually this ground will break and the starter's not gonna engage at all. So if you have a slow cranking vehicle, this could be your issue. Now this starter is a different situation. When we had the starter engaging, you actually heard almost like a grinding noise, like a little bit after the starter had started the vehicle. And that's because this little gear right here actually stays out. There's nothing retracting the gear. And that's what's gonna happen there. So if you ever have a situation where the starter sounds like that it's staying engaged or you hear that like tinny noise like that, most likely your situation is like this and the starter is just stuck. There's no way to fix this. You're just gonna have to replace the starter. Now, this starter has burnt up, so I don't know that we can hook this up to the jumper. We are gonna try it. And it's trying, but it's not spinning. It's just moving. So this starter obviously has failed, so that would need to be replaced. That's pretty neat. Two different symptoms for the same exact failed part. Now, in these situations, they both have to be replaced. There was no way around it. And there's nothing we could have done to prevent this. Replacing the battery more often than not or an alternator, it's not gonna cause the starter to fail. It's just the way it is. Those are some symptoms you may find with a failing starter. 
So don't put that off. Make sure you get those parts at 1AAuto.com. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so don't miss any of our videos.